know. So I guess I don't like old folk. Hey y'all, so I am coming on here to do a video that I wouldn't typically do on my channel, but what I wanna talk about in this video are things that I am very passionate about or I feel kinda of strongly about. So I figured I will go ahead and make this video. This will be the first and last time that I make a video like this, all right? So in my last video, I got so much attention, so much more than I even imagined that video would get. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everyone who watched the video, shared the video, commented on the video, liked the video, thank you. I really appreciate you so, so much. I also appreciate the ones who posted negative comments or um, constructive criticism, thank you so much. But in this last video, you guys, I kind of feel like I need to clarify some things because the two most negative comments I was getting are things that I feel strongly about and I feel like it's something, like a, a problem in society these days and people were just so, so, so negative about it. So some of y'all mentioned that like, I can't just go to another country and expect everything to change. That is not the point of my last video. It was legit just to show my opinion of things that surprised me and things that were a little bit harder to adjust to when I moved to Korea and it's also just to help those who are curious about coming here so when you come here and you see these things you'll be like oh yeah I knew that because of Tanya's video so that's all that was about some of you felt as if I came to this country and just wanted everything to go the way that I'm used to. And that's not it at all, okay? The last thing I'm gonna mention before I continue on with this video is that my full Korean friends who were born and raised in Korea agree with so many of the things that I commented on in my last video okay so they've also said like yes I really do wish this would change about the Korean culture but the thing is is some of it is changing it's just taking a little more time than maybe in like America anyways let's just go ahead and get on with this video the two main things I'm gonna talk about is one elderly people obviously you can tell from the title of this this video and number two being a feminist <sighs> So apparently because I don't like when elderly people cut the line it makes me someone who doesn't respect old folk and I don't like them and they're just in the way and I'm so rude and disrespectful like I mean the list went on and on and on about those comments trust and believe me you guys I have the utmost respect for elderly people just because I don't like that they cut the line does not mean I don't like them like I don't really know how the two relate but some of y'all just really think I just I just hate old folks so the example I used about elders cutting the line was at a hospital now the only reason why I decided to use a hospital is because that's the only place I could think of here in Korea where you have to take a number and then wait for your number to be called before you can get help right so to make it something a little bit more relatable let's say the DMV I'm pretty sure most of you that watch my videos may or may not have been to the DMV before um, but imagine you pick a number and you have to wait for your number to be called before you can be helped all right so every so often in a senior citizen comes in and they don't have to put, pick a number they just go straight to the counter and get help that's gonna push your time back so now all these senior citizens are coming in every every so often and your number is taking longer and longer to get to for you to get help people got lives okay old people got lives young people got lives everybody got lives <laughs> so I'm wasting my time which this person said it's not gonna take any time off your life. I am wasting my time sitting there waiting for my number to be called because old folk keep cutting the line. I was a certified nurse assistant, you guys, so I volunteered at a nursing home. I volunteered my time to help wipe old folk booties, okay? I volunteered my time to rub ointment on bed sores. That's what I did. It was a voluntary decision because I have the utmost respect for old folk. So anyway, scrolling through some of the comments, I realized that people who actually lived in Korea understood where I was coming from. And one of them made a good point. If I am late for work because I let a few old folk go in front of me at the coffee shop or something, will that be a good excuse for my boss? Like, hey boss, I was late because there were old folk in the coffee shop, so I had to let them go first. Like, is my boss gonna be like, okay, cool, Tanya? Probably not, all right? Now, when it comes to subways or buses, oh yeah, 
I don't mind giving my seat to an old person. I don't mind standing up to let them sit down. I don't mind helping an old person carry their bags onto the bus. I don't mind that stuff. That is perfectly okay for me. So sorry to those who think that I just really don't like old folk. That is completely not true, okay? I really do like old people, okay? All right. Anyways, moving on. So the next thing is just, a, I don't know. I, I can't even believe I need to talk about this in 2018, but apparently I do. There were several, several, several comments of people calling me a feminist. Thank you. The sad part is that feminism and being a feminist has become a negative thing. I am a very proud feminist. And for those of you who are like, oh my God, that's horrible. Why are you a feminist? If you're a feminist, you're anti-male. Like, no, that's not what it is at all. Feminism is wanting equal rights for the sexes, okay? That's male and female. And I guess people who don't know what they are, that's that's them too okay in my last video i was commenting on how I, the women here cannot be there at their best because if they are sometimes people tell them you're not going to find a husband or maybe you shouldn't be so good at so many things and i felt as if that was a sad thing like i feel women should be able to be the best that they can ever be and be proud of themselves when they are and in korea that's not always the case so i got some negative comments about that and and a lot of it had to do with me apparently not supporting males like because I made that comment they're like well what about men how about you try to lift up a man that's the problem with this world everything is about men all the dang time like we in that video I was not talking about men that's why I didn't mention men okay it does not mean I do not support men. If I'm a feminist, that doesn't mean I'm anti-male. If I am all about Black Lives Matter, that does not mean white lives don't matter. Like, come on you guys, I'm not gonna talk about every single situ possible situation in a video. When I said to uplift the women, that doesn't mean to stump down the men, okay? That doesn't mean that at all. Um, another comment I got was that, I guess Americans are spoiled, or uh, excuse me, American women are spoiled because I guess because we have rights <laughs> because we can speak up because we can share our opinions that is <sighs> I really wish I had a response for that there's a lot of work that needs to be done in a whole lot of countries like even America there's a lot of work that needs to be done but I do really believe that eventually women will be on the equal level as men as they should be all right so that's all i'm gonna say in this video um i mean i hope y'all watch it I, I mean but if you don't you don't because this is just kind of me having a mini rant i suppose about the the comments and things that i received you guys ultimately are awesome though most of you are so supportive and just so kind to me and i really really appreciate that i just wanted to like jump on here real quick and say some things and then jump right off because i don't really do videos like this on my channel hope this helps clarify some things and i hope some of you who did comment a little negatively on my video just try to receive some of this a little bit so then when you comment on someone else's video it's not so much hate okay hope you guys enjoyed this or at least took something from it you guys take care and i will see you in my next video bye